Good morning, I'm Janelle Burrell with your morning digital news brief for this Monday, April 1st. Temple Beth Hillel in Winwood, Montgomery County targeted for a second time in just a week. The synagogue posting on social media a picture of the sign in the front of their property targeted with a red swastika over the weekend. The hate symbol was spray painted over the words, Our Community Stands with Israel. The synagogue's leadership has reported the vandalism to police. Troubling news for AT&T customers, the company announcing over the weekend that the personal information of more than 70 million customers was breached online for years. The company says it reset the passcodes of current customers and will be notifying those whose personal information was leaked. According to AT&T, the data involved in the breach dates back to 2019 or earlier. And tonight's Powerball jackpot drawing worth $975 million with a cash value of $471 million. Saturday's drawing marked the 38th consecutive drawing without a jackpot winner. Be sure to tune in to the news at 11 tonight for those winning numbers. Let's get you caught up on our next weather forecast because it's a soggy one. Here's meteorologist Kate Vila. Morning, Kate. Good morning, Janelle. Yeah, the first few days of April not looking great. Unfortunately, we do have rain each and every day. Starting with today, the steadiest rain today is this morning and it will taper through the afternoon, but you can see some areas of yellow and red, some steady downpours, even some rumbles of thunder over the next few days. Our next system is loading up back to the west. You can see the center of the low between Omaha and Wichita this morning. A cold front starting to gather moisture from the Gulf of Mexico, and that will arrive tomorrow through. Wednesday. So it's a wet week ahead, at least through early Thursday, if not through the whole day Thursday. Rain chances each day with the steadiest Tuesday and Wednesday. Those are the two days rain could impact the area at any time. We'll end up with a widespread two to three inches across the area. And while it does come over an extended period, we'll have to watch for some possible at least minor flooding. So rain early today, 53 degrees in Philadelphia, low 50s down the shore in the Lehigh Valley. We'll dry out a bit this evening, but then rain picks back up tomorrow into Wednesday. Some delays or cancellations for the Phillies games the next two days. Not today. I think today's game will go off as planned at 640, but Tuesday and Wednesday not looking great, but it does brighten up as we head toward the weekend. Janelle, I'll send it back to you. All right. Thank you, Kate. And you can always get Kate's up-to-date forecast and latest stories here on CBSPhiladelphia.com. That's the latest for your morning digital brief. I'm Janelle Burrell. Have a great day.